Welcome to the channel. I am your girl. Talk about it, Tina. And that over there. That over there. That over there. Him over there. Mm hmm. See? I'm iconic, isn't I ironic? Let me take this off. So, today, as you can see, the topic is love languages, understanding, and speaking your partner's love language. I am excited about this one. So, if you don't know what love languages are, let me put my glasses back on because I can. Oh my goodness, Mr. Krabby Pants. Um, so the concept of lo love languages was popularized by counselor Gary Chapman. The core idea is that people express and receive love in different ways, which can be categorized into five main languages. So how you receive or give love based on the language. And there's five of them. Words of affirmation acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. That is the five areas. Five areas. So, I, I guess I could read this. It's not a lot. So, the theory is that people tend to have a primary and secondary love language. If partners speak different love languages, it can cause problems and resentment in the relationship. For example, if one partner expresses love through gifts while the other values quality conversations, there's a mismatch of expectations. The, by identifying your own and your partner's love language, you can learn to convey affection in the ways that make your partner feel most loved and cared for. You also know how to interpret their expressions of love through their love language lens. This is a mutual understanding, enhances intimacy, satisfaction, and connection in the relationship. Speaking each other's love language is about active listening, empathy, compromise, and commitment. Core ingredients for a healthy relationship overall it's a simple framework for improving communication and satisfaction. Satisfaction guarantee. And if you're probably like, well, how do we find out? How do we know what our love language is? You can Google it. You can Google it. And there is a test you can take. I think it's like 20 something questions. And it gives you your top five. Just type in a uh, love language test. Yeah. That's it. So we've taken it together twice. One in 2018 and one in 2022. And it changes. I don't know how often it changes, but... In the time frame of us taking it within four years. It changes right. as much as you change your mind. True. So, I'm staring at ours because I wrote it down, so I'm kind of cheating. But, baby, do you but know no, what my top love language is? Uh, Put you on the spot. You, you like to be massaged and then back shots after. Am I close? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even remember mine. So, my top is words of affirmation. Oh, baby, you look good, baby. You smell good, baby. I like the way you think, baby. You awesome, baby. Your little feet smells lovely, baby. 
So suckable, baby. Cletus. Okay. So my top is words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, gift, receiving gifts, and acts of service is last. Yours, and the funny thing about ours is that any tests we've taken were like very similar. Like it may be rotated by like one or the percentages will be off by a couple of percent. We're very close, which means we're a lot alike. We're compatible. Well, we're only a lot alike because I've definitely swallowed a lot of you. Okay. All right. Don't nobody need to know all that. So your top is quality time. Your second is words of affirmation. Third, physical touch. Receiving gifts and acts of service. So ours exactly is like, <coughs> except our top two are switched around. So knowing that and knowing then what to do or how to accommodate Sorry, I'm just waiting for that email. Um, knowing how to accommodate each other based off of your love languages, your relationship is going to be like through the roof. Because if you, if your top, let's say, is well, quality time, now you're spending time with each other. You're going places. You're doing things together. Quality time. But if, but if you're doing stuff that's like receiving gifts and the person's like, yeah, that's great and all. Not that I don't want it, but I rather would have spent time with you. Now you got a conflict. Now the person's upset because they want to spend time with you, but you didn't threw them a gift that they appreciate, but they really wanted you. Yeah. A lot of time is... A lot of time... It is the time. Yeah. Um, the only time when this acts of uh, gifts and stuff like that, you can kind of see how they live their life. I'm going to be honest. You can kind of see how they live their life. They, you know, they might, they might hold uh, material things more precedent than, you know, relationships mm. or whatever. So, yeah. You know, if you if you have your eyes open, you can you can uh you can see these things before they become a problem. If yeah. that is a problem for you, because I know for me, like um like last night, like that would have that would have been like a gift or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, or acts of service. Well, I did the service, but I didn't I didn't oh. pay for it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, I know that would definitely be acts of service, and that's probably higher on their list. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, uh, I wonder, well, if she ever did one. I'm gonna send you the link so you can send it to her. All right. And again, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, y'all really ain't in the loop. Go back and look at some videos. Yeah. I'm not going to, I think, I feel like I'm not going to start explaining what we're talking about. They just going to have to go watch the videos and and find, figure out, like a scavenger hunt, what we're talking about. Well, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm just letting it be known. Like, <laughs> um, And I haven't brought that up yet. Um... And maybe we can in the next video. They they can get the basis of well, the. So what I'm saying is I haven't mentioned any of that yet. I know. It's like we don't know, right? But I think so. It seemed like there's interest on on the other end, and you know my. Well, you no, I'm saying you've already. <laughs> Stated interest, 
So <gasps> the fact that she stated interest, then okay, now we getting somewhere versus that that Halloween Vegas date that never happened. Yeah, and again, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, y'all need to go watch a doggone video. And if you watch a video, then you would be in the know, you know. So, um, so we were talking about the so we were talking about acts of service with the other person, right? Um, so I guarantee you. I, I almost guarantee you their top is going to be receiving gifts and acts of service will be their top two. And then maybe quality time. I think that's more personal, but them top two, I guarantee you. Guarantee you. All right, here it is. Yeah, see, that would be a, I don't know, I'm going to be honest, that would be a problem for me because I feel like, hey, we ain't reached that level, but I'm I'm, I'm glad I know. I mean, I guess this is the test. Like, look here, you, you want something? I, I don't mind going to Dollar Tree. They have more tests now. Um, okay. So the main one with the book, that, that should be just the main yeah. one. Yeah. What I mean by they have more tests is there's one is what is your apology language and how well do you handle anger? Oh, yeah. Um, so... But yeah, I just sent it to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when we learned, I think when we first took it in 2018, we weren't even in the right place mentally to understand the test. Yeah. So after we had our conversations and we're really working through kind of breaking down everything from the past, when we took the test this time around, it just was like almost like an aha moment or just kind of like a revelation of, hey, this all, all I got to do is this and make this person happy. And it's, yeah. it doesn't consist of not knowing the person. Now I know them. So it's easy to do the quality time or words of affirmation obviously physical touch is a little more difficult yeah okay okay wow my neck thick to yours i'd be like ooh okay stop stop just stop i mean nobody getting no visuals That's just in you. So, knowing your person's love language, affirmation, you could even so you can even mix them up. So, like, if I know that, let me make sure. Okay, so receiving gifts is big for you, but it's not big, big. But if you like receiving words of affirmation, now I can make a personalized book for you, uh, words of affirmation, but it's a gift and then have it sent to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you can combine things. You can get creative with meeting the needs of your person based off of their love language. Or you could just go ahead and maybe every other day, if not daily, just Give them an encouraging word. Like I love when she say, um, did you sleep well, King? Did you, are you okay, King? This, this and that, and King, you know, just, I feel loved. That's mm. all. Well, so yes, there, there are things that you can do. And if you have questions, again, you can reach out to us. 
I would gladly give you ideas based on your person's love language, what you can do to accommodate and speak their language. Because in the at the end of the day, it's going to make your relationship that much stronger. Better. better, better. Not just better, but stronger. Yes. 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 So, words of affirmation, expressing affection through verbal compliments, praise, or encouragement, acts of service, demonstrating love by doing things for your partner, like cooking, cleaning, running errands. Okay. Receiving... With that being said, um, I will say the stereotype is more women than oh, men. Lord. The stereotype is more women than men when you, when people mm-hmm. think about it. So when I I got a Kyrie is on her way to the hospital. Okay. Well, um, with that being said, I'm your guy iconic. No, 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 no. What? Don't we ain't gotta stop it. Um let me just call her really quick. All right. Um, you talk, baby. I'm going to mute it. I'm going to mute okay. mine. Yeah, go for it. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, again, back to the stereotype. Ladies, if your man is trying to do to do good by you and, and get you something or trying to be attentive to your needs and bring you back, let's say, a Pepsi, but you really like Coke. Please understand that if that words of encouragement goes way farther than, you know I don't like this and this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make his vibration go down, which means that he's not going to be that that much into trying to fix it, rectify it, or change what he knows about you. So, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, he might bring you a Dr. Pepper and and you still want a Coke. But in his head, he's like jostled because he's trying to be good or do good. But because he doesn't have them words of encouragement, he's messing up on them acts of services and i say it's a stereotype because you hear it more often coming from women than men but it very well could be the other way around um so keep in mind you know give them a little praise but be like or the the old saying you could catch more bees with honey than vinegar or flies with honey than vinegar like look here baby i i really appreciate you trying and and you bringing me back this pepsi this dr pepper but i really like the red can the coca-cola that that's my favorite that's my own but i i I like this but i love the coca-cola even better and guess what because it was that type of tone, that type of language being, he's going to be like Coca-Cola, okay, red, okay. Because what? Pepsi is blue, Dr. Pepper is brown, Coca-Cola is red. He can remember that. Not to say that us men are dumb or anything like that, but word, kind words go way farther with us than you yiggity yapping. You feel me? You figure deal me? And vice versa. Um, Things I've said to my wife, you know, if I I got upset with her, it it, it wouldn't do any good. But when I gave her them kind words or whatever, and she liked how 
it made her feel. She flipped it, and I'm now I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, X, 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 X of kindness. I think that's where I'm going. I don't know. We'll see. But um, my lovely wife, her shoulder looks so so good. Look at them lips. Mm -hmm. We're still recording, by the way. So, but again, we might as well do a part two because um, Perry, hold on real quick, hey. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm just gonna mute it. Just hold on. So um, I'm your guy. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish reading what I was what I was doing real quick. So we were going through receiving receiving gifts. So gifts shows love and care for your partner. The gifts don't have to be expensive, but you require thoughtfulness, quality time giving your partner, your undivided attention in conversations or shared activities, and physical touch, touching, hugging, holding hands, and other physical gestures foster intimacy and connection. Even smack on the backside. So Even, that yeah. So, um, yeah. But she she's in labor. Her contractions are like five minutes apart. She said that she's in a lot of pain. So she okay. probably don't have them today. All right. Well, with that being said, everything is going on. We're going to end it. I'm your guy, Iconic. That's my lovely wife. Talk about it to Kena. Oh, and, yeah. of course, you can find us on our own YouTube channel just by our name. And don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. And we will be with you in the next video. All right? Until then, love you. Stay positive. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see y'all later.